welcome to January 8th, 2007, the third day of the week. Well, brother, let's go over into the Lord's Care Ministry and today let's pick it up here from day two. The Lord's Care Ministry, a light shining from above, day two, singing unto the Lord a new song, Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 10. Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a psalm and bring hither the tremble, the pleasant harp with the soft trees. Psalms chapter 81 verses 1 and 2. He hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our Lord. Many shall see it in fear, and shall trust in the Lord. Psalms chapter 40 and verse 3. Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 9. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10. Paul thanked God and took courage. Acts chapter 28 and verse 15. Knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly, as in the day, not in the rioting and drunkenness, not in the chamberlain and the wantonness, not in strife and in the envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provisions for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Romans chapter 13 verses 11 through 14. The true believer, redeemed by the blood of Christ, for as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with the corruptible things as silver and gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, as the lamb without blemish, blemish and without spot. First Peter chapter 1, verses 18 and 19. Our sins and griefs on him were laid. He meekly bore the mighty load. Our ransom price he fully paid. I offered himself to God. In God's word only do we trust. Never in man's trans... Pardon me. Never in the traditions of men. His, a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. And brother, if you have not been a follower of Christ yet, and you truly want to get into the kingdom of eternal life, get down on your knees and repent. Ask God for forgiveness. Ask him to show you the way. And if you truly believe in your heart, that is what you want, he will answer. Well, brethren, with that, I think we're going to close for today. I hope you all have a great day and a better tomorrow. And God willing, we'll see you then. With that, bye for now.